Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for this year-end depthier wrap-up and reflections where I hope to relay some of my thoughts. I don't know how rambly this is going to be or how long. I'm hoping it won't be too long or rambly, but to relay my thoughts about how I feel the my depth here uh, went for me and in terms of my my intentions. So I I think my my main intentions were kind of low by no by in some instances, uh, so that I could be more mindful. What is it, baby? What? Oh, sorry. Mommy's filming. What was I saying? Oh, okay. So yeah, low buy, no buy so that I could be more mindful of consumption, be more mindful and appreciative of the things that I already own. And then the other part of the depth year was to go deeper with uh, a few projects. The main one being my writing and making more headway with my manuscript. And then also um, going deeper with Le Normand and Pip Style Decks. So I will just go through my list here, just read everything off and uh, chat a little bit about how I think I did. I gave myself the guideline of no new crystals or jewelry. And aside from a slip up here and a gift there, I think I did really well in those two areas. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And I definitely did come to appreciate uh, the pieces of jewelry and, and crystals that I, I do own that I've maybe neglected or forgot about. Curate my closet. That has been not an issue for me at all. I've I've been very good about just keeping the pieces that I I enjoy wearing, enjoy using, and um, make me feel comfortable and confident, and just getting rid of the rest. So I I donated a lot in the beginning of the year. We did another. Matt and I did kind of like another um, clear out maybe some months back. So that was great too. No new bullet journal supplies or accessories unless I run out of existing items. Uh, same goes with no new coloring books or coloring book supplies. I did very well there. I didn't buy anything and I've continued to just use what I have to uh, bullet journal. I've been continuing with my bullet journal. I really enjoy bullet journal journaling these, these past two years. It's been a lot of fun. I think I've hit a comfortable stride with how I want to do my setups and, and what I want to keep in here. And um, I had briefly, what is it, baby? Sorry, I don't know if you hear that in the background. That's Lulu. I briefly considered actually changing over to something a little more comp compact, like a traveler's notebook or something, but I don't know. I just find that this really works well for me and um, I just can make it what I want. It's roomy and, you know, I'm just able to use existing stickers, you know, use existing uh, supplies and, and really have a lot of fun with this. So in terms of coloring, I did not, I, I did have it in mind to, do more with coloring in the beginning of the year. I had said, oh, you know, maybe I will practice my coloring more. I do enjoy coloring a lot. Uh, it just get better with my skills because as it is, I'm, I'm very basic with my coloring. I don't really do much shading or blending or anything creative like that. Uh, it's just a stress, a simple stress reliever. And I found that I really didn't do a lot of coloring this year at all. But in the past month or so, I've been my itch to get back into coloring has reignited and I received two uh, cute coloring books as, as Christmas gifts from friends. And so that's kind of also um, rekindled my, my desire to get back into that hobby, but that kind of went neglected. 
uh, for 2019 mostly. Now on to tarot and oracle. So I gave myself a guideline of no more than one tarot or oracle deck purchase a month. I started off fairly well with that. I would say for the first half of the year, I think I had a slip up, but uh, I never went beyond buying like more than maybe two decks a month instead of the one. Okay. Uh, and I think that was only one month that I did that. Then in June for my birthday, I received a lot of decks, oh, not a lot, but uh, several decks for my birthday. And so I had said in a previous video, that's it. I am giving myself the rule of no more deck purchases for the rest of the year since I have all of these new decks to work with. And of course, you know, as soon as I lay down a strict rule for myself, that goes out the window because it totally did. And again, not in an egregious way. You know, I maybe bought um, two decks in a month instead of one. I didn't buy any, I don't think I bought any in November. Uh, I don't think I bought, I pre-ordered one in December, but it's not here yet. So uh, yeah, I didn't, I would say I didn't quite do as well in keeping to that rule. And yet I don't, I don't necessarily feel so bad about it. I, I uh, because I did, yes, bring in a lot of decks into my collection, but then I also rehomed quite a few as well. So I brought, let me see, 22 decks in 2009, they came into my collection, whether it be through purchase or gifts. So I'm just like lumping or trade. I'm just lumping that in altogether. But I rehomed 17 decks. So I kind of balanced myself out a little bit. I mean, in, for my entire collection of Tarot Oracle, Lane Roman, I have 41 total, which I'm, I'm very comfortable with. Um, so I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay there. Les Normand, that was another, another depth, your intention, go more in depth with Les Normand, which I did do. I would say I, I worked fairly, um, consistently with Les Normand, like the first half. I think, I feel like I did best like the first half of the year and then towards the second half of my depth year, things kind of just slowed down and, I don't know if it was that my motivation just kind of fatigued, um, willpower fatigue. I don't know, but it, you know, things just kind of slowed down the second half of the year. But I did, I, I feel good about Lenormand. I read, um, Kashleen Matthews, the complete, the Lenormand Oracle, completely Norman Oracle book. I read a good majority of that. I really practiced with my Lenormand and, um, so, that was a good time. And then same with Marseille. I had the goal of going deeper with Marseille. And I would say that kind of transitioned over to more like Pip style decks instead of Marseille. I did finish Tom Benjamin's Tarot on Earth and it was helpful and it gave me a good foundation. And I also soon learned or quickly learned that Marseille, traditional Marseille decks are just not my thing. They don't do anything for me aesthetically. And so I uh, did a lot of practice with more pip style decks. And I really have grown to love pip decks now. Go more in depth with my writing. I feel fairly good about that as well. Um, I spent, again, the first half the year uh, really thinking about feedback from beta readers going through revisions with my manuscript. And then the second half of the year has been spent figuring out what I want to do with this manuscript. Do I want to go straight to independent publishing? Do I want to pitch it to agents and whatnot? And I ultimately decided to um, try my hand at uh, some publishing companies or some agents. And if no one um, decided to, to bite, then, you know, maybe I will I will do, um, I will just publish independently and, and throw it up on Kindle. Um, and so far I 
have had one option of revising and resubmitting, which I still don't know whether I want to do that or not. Um, and I've had another agent decline their manuscript. So maybe I will pitch it to one more agent and then take it from there. But I have, I feel good about, I feel good about the steps I took with the manuscript in terms of my writing as a whole. It did stall out once again, you know, after this, you know, more than the second half of the year, it kind of, I haven't really done any new writing. Um, reading more and borrowing books from the library as much as possible. So I would say that that is where I, that was probably my major disappointment um, out of the whole depth year. You know, the rest of it was pretty good. You know, it wasn't perfect, but you know, fairly okay with it. But I would say the reading, I just, I, I started off strong and then, you know, I just, wasn't reading as much um, in the past months. I was doing a lot of audiobooks, which I don't know if that really counts. I mean, when I think of reading, I think of physically reading a book. Uh, so audiobooks don't necessarily count in that way. Um, and reading was something that I used to do all the time. I was a voracious reader and now I'm not. And for some reason that it makes me feel, I don't know, bad. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but it, yeah, it makes me feel kind of bad that I, I don't read as much as I used to. And um, I think part of what's changed for me is that before where I would use to kind of fight my way through a book, even if it was a slow beginning, or maybe I wasn't as into it, I would still like, you know, fight my way through the slow beginning, maybe even finish the entire book and force myself to finish it, even though I wasn't like super into it. Uh, nowadays, I give myself like half the book. And if I, if, if it's, if I know it's going nowhere, I do give myself permission to stop reading. Uh, but I think my attention span has just shrunk so much, like not in just reading, but in, um, you know, watching series. I used to watch more series and, and TV and I just can't, seem to focus it's like I have I have the attention span of a mosquito or something and I don't know I don't know what's going on there but that is something that I've learned you know maybe it is the influence of that kind of instant gratification atmosphere that now we're dealing with nowadays with you know the instant gratification of um, purchases and social media and just having everything at your disposal right away. And so maybe my patience is just shrinking. I don't know. I, I don't know. But the reading, I, I, I felt like I, I didn't read as much as I wanted to. And I didn't borrow as many library books as I wanted to because I wasn't reading as much and the library just wasn't as convenient as I thought it would be. But, um, something that I, I hope to, I hope to be uh, better with in the coming year. I know that depth year was about not taking up new projects. I did learn from this depth year that I'm the type of person who likes to dabble in new things. That's what keeps me happy and inspired and um, so, to go a, a year without really um, starting anything new. That's just, I've come to learn that's just not my style. Like I, I have to be, if I'm jonesing to do something new and to try something, I, I wanna do it. That's what's gonna make me happy. Follow through <laughs> is a different story, but uh, I, I did do some sewing projects. Uh, I tried my hand at making a few tarot bags um, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, you might argue that it's my going deeper with my sewing because I do know very basic sewing skills with a very old sewing machine. So you could argue that. I don't know. I, I, I saw that as kind of a new project and um, one that I plan to continue uh, in 2020 with just learning how to sew better, <laughs> learning more skills with sewing, making more tarot bags, making more of other things. 
And then another project that I did start is making my own Oracle deck. And again, you could maybe argue that it's just my going deeper with my cardamancy. I don't know. I saw it as a new project and uh, I had a lot of fun with that too. And I learned some new skills in Illustrator and uh, with vectors that I, I never had before. So that was great. That was a lot of fun. And so I, I don't, I don't feel bad about kind of breaking that guideline of depth here. All in all, it was a, a positive experience. Am I doing another depth year for 2020? Um, I, I don't think I would call it a depth year. I, I feel like some of the strategies and the things that um, I've learned from this year are, are things that I want to continue with every year, such as mindful consumption and and how to live more lightly and and how to maybe follow through more and and be more um focused on certain projects depth year 2019 gave me a lot of food for thought overall positive um and 2020 I'm just going to continue to be mindful if you participated in depth year i would love to hear how that went for you so drop a comment below uh, or leave a link to your depth ear video if you do YouTube. I am, I know you're tired of hearing this. I am behind on my YouTube watching. I am so behind, but it is what it is. So I'm hoping to uh, catch up in the next couple weeks uh, as things slow down with family and, and all that. So happy new year, everyone. I thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.